is Crack Lack My Dog's back at it again today with another banger video. Alright, alright. Probably not a banger. I mean, I got freaking horrible audios all blown out. I've got freaking videos that are cut in half. Thanks a lot, GoPro. Appreciate that. Um, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, I struggled. I mean, I was catching little tiny hardhead catfish all day long. Caught a lot of small whiting that I had to throw back and uh, finally got away from all that. I got on a couple good eating size whiting and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I cook it up. But first, let's go ahead and jump into this fishing. I think I'm getting a bite. Sand flea, dude. Watch this hook. Since I've been doing uh, surf fishing, anytime I see these little little catfish everywhere, it's just not a good situation. But we'll uh, we'll see about it. So yeah, there he is. He's bleeding a little bit. I'm putting a little little joker back. See you later, buddy. Sick. I don't want to step on him. There you go. That was a horrible release. I apologize. My apologies. So what else do I have to do? So I went to the bait shop today. And of course, they were all out of bait. So I got the old sand fleet rake out. Boys and girls. And I'm getting probably about one or two every uh, scoop. So, I'm using sand fleas today, and I'm using that ladyfish, cutfish, or uh, cut bait. There we go. Got a big old fat honker one right here. Hopefully we can get something besides a catfish. And the, the sand flea? Yeah. Put it in the bucket over there. Put it in the bucket. I got my kids getting them. You're so mean. I can't believe you're doing that. Ridiculous. Thanks, bro. Yeet. Looks like I got a little weight on here. Oh my God, not again. Not again. What is going on? And they're getting smaller. I've never used these as bait. Oh, that's a little whiting. That's not even, oh, okay, okay. I barely even hooked them. Little dude, how'd you do that? No, no, I wanna show the camera. Come on now, come on now. No, I wanna show the camera. This one's wild looking. It's got stripes on it. Hold on. I'm probably gonna lose them. Look at that. Look at that little guy. Alright. Well, see ya. It's been real. That was crazy. Oh no. I thought you were gone. Look at that. Look how small. Look how pretty that is. That's wild. Alright, dude. See ya. That's crazy. All right. Oh, got a bite. Oh, I think I missed him. No. Oh. Either I missed him or he's an idiot. Another 
really many one. No, I missed it. Darn it. He took, I had two sand fleas on there, so he took one of them. Doubled up on them. Doubled up on the fleas, man. Biggest one of the day. <laughs> Yay! The freaking toad. Come on, don't try to find it. Come on. There we go. I just found a monster sand flea. Look at that. Look at that sun gun right there. Mics on and how you doing, guys? That's bait. <laughs> That's bait. Good size lighting right there, boys. A bank. Lighting. Mm -hmm. oh. Ah. Oh. Chilling with my dude Hayden here. Yee yee. And this is where the GoPro started acting up. I appreciate that GoPro. It's kind of unfortunate because the next cast, my son's friend Aiden ended up catching a ladyfish. Then a cast after that, I caught a nice size whiting. But anyways, I'm going to catch you guys on the back porch. Welcome to Florida. See you when the monsoon passes by. Give it five minutes. Just like I said, five, ten minutes later, sunny outside, birds are chirping, and it's super humid out. That's Florida for you. Anyways, usually on this channel, I deep fry everything. I mean, who doesn't like a good fish fry, right? I mean, even when it's whiting. Um, usually I'll take it and I'll soak it in Frank's and then I'll make my flour dredge and put some slappy mama seasoning in the flour and all that kind of good stuff. But today I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing a hobo pack with Everglade seasoning on the grill. Hey man, are you going to eat me? Come on man, just let me get back to the ocean man. I'm just trying to swim away man. Alright, that's enough playing with the food. Alright, so what we're going to do. Got the old Shimano. Ching. 
get you a nice fillet knife. You're gonna go up on its head here, right by its spine. Going all the way up so you feel that head. Flip it on its side here. I go up towards the head like this. So I want to get most meat as possible. You're gonna join your little cut right here. Boom, boom. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn my knife like this. I'm gonna go through the bones and everything. Flex your knife just like that. All right, so I got my tin foil down. I will say this, when you deep fry, you wanna take that skin off the backside here. Okay, I'm leaving it on the half shell for this um, just because I'm cooking it different. But usually when I deep fry, I definitely take it off the, take the skin off. But what we're doing is I got this Everglades heat right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Everglades heat. And uh, I like, I'm a, people say I'm heavy handed, but I guess I am really. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and load her up just like this. Basically blackened is what this is gonna be like. All right. Then I got some pepper, put some pepper in there. And then, alrighty, now that I got the butter, I forgot the butter inside. Um, now we got the butter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it up into a pouch. Make a little packet, a little pouch packet, however you wanna call it. So, we're gonna fold it like this. It's like you're wrapping up a little present or something. Fold it like that. Find where the edges are at, which is right here. We'll fold it over like this and then fold it like that. You got yourself a nice little pouch here with your whiting in there and uh, I'm gonna throw it on the grill. Now that we got the grill heating up over here, let's go ahead and lift that up a little bit. We're just gonna take your little hobo pack and slap her on there. Just like that, give it a good, I don't know, probably five to eight minutes. Shoo, we got hot. While that's cooking, I wanted to uh, say a little shout out to a buddy of mine, his name's Arrington, uh, with Real Addictive Adventures. If you guys could, my people, go over there, subscribe to Arrington, that's Real Addictive Adventures. I'll leave a link down in the description, but uh, he's got a really awesome channel and he's been catching a lot of awesome fish. Alrighty. This should be done, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on this plate right quick and uh, show you what we're working with. See what we're working with here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh yeah. That looks good, boys, that looks good. Alrighty, go ahead and uh, Get this first bite. Oh wow, it's so flaky. Come on, focus. You're gonna focus? No? Come on now, stay focused. It's not gonna stay focused. Anyways, I'm gonna eat it because it smells amazing. Looks good. Oh boy. Look at this. Right here, that's the half shell. Scales and all. Fish skin. Good stuff. You guys ain't eating that. You're missing out. So good. This is really good. It won't focus though. Oh well. That's with the skin and everything. I think I got all the bones out. Woo! That Everglades heat seasoning. I mean, I'm sitting out here, it's like 100 degrees. And I'm eating spicy fish. 
I don't even care. That's bad. Mm, I missed one. I really wish this camera would focus. Ridiculous. Anyways, that's so good. Don't wash it. I almost spewed everywhere. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook. Uh, if you've not tried a hobo pack, you guys gotta try it out. Little seasoning, butter. You can put in other things into it. You can put carrots, onions, potatoes, whatever you want. Um, but I want to keep it simple and keep that fish taste. And uh, that Everglades heat seasoning is absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook. If you guys could, do me a solid. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell notification. That way you're always updated. And I'm going to catch you all on the next one.